Yo, yo, what's the deal? Fantasy football fans, it's your boy, and I'm here to give you the scoop on what happened in week 12 in our Dirty South 3 league within Yahoo. Alright, if I seem a little distracted, it's because I'm watching the Falcons play the Saints and we're up 7-0, so, you know, I try to keep my eyes on it and do this during commercials, okay? So, now, this is what happened in, uh, in the battles that happened in week 12, okay? Yo, too high for TV, my team. Bam! We did our thing against the Delta Dogs, 175 to 119. Dollar Boys came through and won over the King Street Wildcats, 137 to 90. Those mobsters from the Valley, Valley Mobsters, won against Duke Heavy Hitters, 118 to 97. Black Rain just drenched the BX crossover 420 crew. You know what I mean? It was 134 to 104. ATL Kings won against the Uptown Scrippers, 122 to 112. And Rough Riders did their thing against the A-Town Jags, 137 to 120. And as far as the rankings in the league, this is how it's going down. In first place, we've got Dollar Boys with a record of 8 and 4. Rough Riders are in second place with a record of 8 and 4 as well. These two teams have clinched their playoff spots. So they're guaranteed to be in the playoffs no matter what. Now, the next four teams, I don't know whether everybody's going to be placed. It's a good chance that teams three through five, which are my team, Too Hot for TV with a record of seven and five, Black Rain in fourth place, Duke Heavy Hitters in fifth place. We all have records of seven and five. So I'm thinking that even though we may lose, we still should get a birth spot in the playoffs, okay? Now, the teams where this upcoming week are very critical are the King Street Wildcats. They're in 6th place and the Delta Dogs, which are also in 7th six, in place, I'm sorry. But they both have records of 6-6. Six and six. That's where it gets tricky because if one loses and the other wins, I'm sure that the one who wins will get that last spot in the playoffs, okay? Now, with records of 5 and 7, we've got the Uptown Scrippers, ATL Kings, and A-Town Jags in 8th, ninth, and 10th place as it stands. And then, you know what I'm saying, you really can't count them out because with those records, if they win this week, They'll be at six and seven. If the six and six teams lose, they'll be at six and seven. So then it might come down to how many fantasy points you scored or how you rank within the league. You know what I mean? So that's going to be a little rough. So now, rounding off the teams in 11th and 12th place with records of four and eight, we have the Valley Mobsters and BX Crossover 420. Okay, so like I said, for a lot of teams, this upcoming week is very critical because after week 13, we go into our playoffs, okay? And you know I'm going to give you that hot playoff coverage, you know what I'm saying? So, good luck. Don't sleep on your lineups. Do your homework. And I will let you know what happens after week 13. Peace.